Hello and welcome to this video. Today I'd like to give you a speed comparison between the LG Nexus 5 and the OnePlus One. And there are already a lot of videos out there outlining the price tag or its features, but there's no actual speed comparison video. And I can tell you that there's not a big difference, but still, we're gonna get into that. So, on the left side we have the LG Nexus 5 in the case. On the right side, the OnePlus One manufactured by OnePlus and running stock Cyanogen Mod. So, first thing we're gonna do is a boot test. So let's see which device boots faster. And you can see the cool Google logo on the left side and the OnePlus One or OnePlus logo on the right side, which says powered by Android. And we see on the left side, the Nexus 5 is a bit faster from getting from the bootloader to actually booting. Um, but we'll see which device is faster. And it still takes some time, of course. And we see the screen on the left side is a bit brighter now, so maybe, nope. So the OnePlus One wins, but just for about two seconds. Um, let me enter the passcode. And here we have both devices. So we go to the settings app. I can show you the version. Scroll to the bottom. And first of all, both devices are running Android runtime. So it's a bit faster than Delvic, but um, they're kind of equal. And here we have um, Cyanogen Mod 11 M10 and Cyanogen Mod 11S on the OnePlus One. So they're quite equal. I have the same apps installed. And now let's begin. Weather Pro. OnePlus One is a bit faster, but just for about one second. Let's go back. Now let's open, for example, maybe a newsreader app. And we can see that they're equal. So let's open this article. So one plus one is a bit faster, but not really noticeable. So we have the Play Store and they're loading at the same time. No real uh, difference here. Let's go to the app. So Nexus 5 was a bit faster, but still it's okay. Um, let's search for Geekbench. And let's see which device has a faster CPU. And it should be the OnePlus One, because it has the Snapdragon 801. And the Nexus 5 just has the 800 chip. But interestingly, it's not a big difference here, as I told you. Let's down download it. And we see that the OnePlus One is a bit faster, but the Nexus 5 is installing first, and it's done. The OnePlus One is still installing. Okay, here we go. So both devices have Geekbench 3 installed. Let's remove this uh, notification. And... Where's Geekbench? Okay. <laughs> Here it is, and accept. Let me search that for a moment. Where the hell is Geekbench? Oh, yeah, here. Okay, accept two. Let's run a benchmark. So let's skip that. Fast forward it and we can see that it's still running and the uh, OnePlus One wins, but just by uh, at around 20 points. So not a big deal here. Let's try Netflix, which just launched in Austria. And I'm very happy about that. <laughs> okay, so we see that the Nexus 5 is a bit faster. Let's open the video. And, okay, Nexus 5 wins, but just by around one second. So, again, they're quite equal. Let's try Flappy Bird. And, the Nexus 5 wins. Can't start it now. Okay. 
So they look quite similar. Maybe we can try, let's see, let's see, let's see. Um, there's a settings app. Nexus 5, a bit faster, but really not noticeable. Now let's try, hmm, kind of difficult. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Maybe let's do a Wi-Fi speed test. I have 100 megabits down and 10 up, so shouldn't be a problem. Let's run them one after the other because otherwise it might get weird results. So we see at around 30 megabits and eight megabits for the upload. Still, that's that's okay, I'd say, that's okay. Let's try that on the OnePlus One. If it's done, okay. So they're both connected to the same Wi-Fi network, which is uh, a 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi network, and they have around uh, three to four signal bars. So we see it's a bit faster, 44 megabits. And again at around eight. So the download might be a bit faster, but again, it's not a big deal here. So let's wait until it's done. Which can take, oh, take a while, okay. So here you can see it. And last but not least, uh, Let's open it, okay, again. So, kind of equal again, as you can see. So maybe we we'll can open the app launcher, still almost the same. Let's try Taylor, Twitter client. Nexus 5 a bit faster but uh, I don't think the timeline was uh, synced, so... Okay, uh, last but not least, let's try Google Chrome. Let's open it in this mode, because uh, we don't want cookies or something to change the results. No thanks, and... Come on, remove the tabs. So here we go. Um, let's try Android Next, which is a German Android block. I like that. Seriously, it's kind of complicated, so uh, typing with one hand. <laughs> but it should work. So here we have Android Next, and here we go. Okay, the OnePlus One asked me if I want to visit the, the mobile website. Let's go, it's okay, and the one plus one was a bit faster. Maybe at about one to two seconds. Let's go to nine to five, Google. Still kind of difficult to type here, but um, I'm trying. Okay, and here we go. So one plus one is done. Nexus 5 still loading. And it's asking me if I want to translate it. Nope, I didn't want it to translate the text. And again, a bit faster than the OnePlus One, but not noticeable. At least not in practice, you know. Um, let's go to 95 Mac and OnePlus One faster again. It's asking me again. That really gets annoying after some time. And uh, let's see, um, maybe Android Authority. Okay, now the Nexus Okay, so the Nexus 5 was faster, at least for the Google search results, and now we open it. And one plus one is faster. 
Interesting. But he's again asking me if I want to translate it. No, please don't. And they're quite fast. No lags here. It's smoothly running through. And we have no big difference. So maybe a YouTube. That will be the last test for today. Let's uh, open, I don't know, this video. And. Okay, Nexus 5 may be a bit faster, but uh, seriously, that's uh, a draw. So this video, one plus one was a bit faster, so no big deal here, again. <laughs> Let's go back. Okay, so now we're trying to, okay. Now we're trying to shut these devices off. And see which device is faster. And it is. Come on. Here we go. Okay. No difference here. So, I can tell you, these devices are pretty awesome. The LG Nexus 5 was released last year. The OnePlus One is, was released this year. And it's still hard to buy it. But there are some ways. And they will start a pre-order system soon. So you might get your hands on it, maybe even this year. Um, so, main difference is the screen size, of course. The OnePlus One has a 5.5 inch display, while the LG Nexus 5 just has a 4 inch display. And the battery life. The OnePlus One battery life is awesome, but the LG Nexus 5 just has um, a 2100 milliamp battery, which lasts for, I don't know, half a day. At least for me, I'm a heavy user. And the OnePlus One doesn't have Qi charging, which isn't a big issue there, because it has an all-day battery life, at least for me as a heavy user, so I don't need it that often. And as I'm using Sleep as Android, I can recharge my phone every night. So, again, no big deal there. You have to decide which phone suits you. But I'd go for the OnePlus One, and I'm selling my LG Nexus 5 now. And maybe the LG Nexus 6 won't be better. So I hope it could help you. You can see, it doesn't matter which device you're buying, both are pretty awesome, and there's just some small differences. So just decide and subscribe, thanks.